I am here outside of Aldi. I'm gonna go in and do a little grocery shopping and I thought it would be interesting to do a little Aldi versus Walmart price comparison. actually done this several times on my channel. Historically speaking, Walmart has usually been anywhere from 10 to 15% more expensive for me if I'm buying the exact same items in the house brand. But in the last several months, that gap has been getting smaller and smaller. So I'm interested to see how this shakes out today because I've noticed prices at Walmart now going up a little bit, whereas the prices at Aldi have maybe stabilized some. We'll just have to see. I have sort of a very generic grocery list today. We are out of some basic, you know, kind of family kitchen type items like milk, eggs, butter, produce, bread, lunch meat for sandwiches. So I thought that this would be a good time to do a price comparison because I'm buying, you know, just some really basic stuff for us. I'm gonna see what's on sale because I didn't check before I came. This is the first time in several of my recent trips to Aldi that they have had the chicken section stocked really well. I think they have chicken leg quarters on sale this week for a pretty good price. But I'm noticing too that I see some whole chickens back in stock. Of course, they're $2.99 a pound because they're the organic, but this is the first time I've seen this stocked really well in a long time. I was hoping they would have some of their fall items out and my oldest sister, mentioned these. She said I need to get these and give them a try, the apple cider donut cream cookies. But I'm also gonna pick up some of these caramel apple K-cups. I have seen these here um, a few other years, but it's $4.59 for 18 K-cups, which isn't horrible. And I do like this flavor, so they're going in the cart. These fall pasta shapes are super cute, but I have to admit to you guys, I actually still have a bag of the Christmas ones in my pantry, because <laughs> I never figured out what I wanted to do with them. I guess I'll pass on those because they're pretty to look at, but I never actually want to make anything with them. I don't know, what do you guys use these for? Do you make, make soups with them? They actually have the unsweetened apple sauces today. I feel like they never have these, so I'm gonna stock up. I grabbed four, but there's still plenty left. Look at how small this bag is. It's only nine ounces. I feel like these used to be bigger. Am I wrong? Am I making that up? Nine ounce bag of the Clancy's cheddar and sour cream, and I've had this. It's good for an off-brand, but nine ounces, I feel like the bag has shrunk some. Somebody let me know if I'm making that up. Okay, now I'm seeing these and I'm second guessing my apple cider donut. It seems like these would be really simple. Caramel apple creams and apple cider. I don't need both of those, but I feel like we need a taste test. We need to have the family taste test these. Hot take, but I cannot stand these. <laughs> <laughs> I tried these a couple years ago. Everybody in the family did not care for them. They sat in our cabinet for a few months. It's a no for me, but let me know if you like these maple cookies. I'm a little disappointed. I can't find the peanut butter puffs that I like so well that come out about this time of year. They're seasonal and they're in the ad, but I can't find them. Darn. All right, I just finished up in Aldi and I'm going to drive the mom van here down the street to Walmart to pick up just a handful of other things. Speaking of driving the mom van around, I wanna thank today's sponsor, Upside. Upside is a free app that anybody can download from the App Store or Google Play that gives cash back at participating locations on gas, groceries, and at restaurants. And let's face it, there's not a lot we can get for free these days, so earning cash back on purchases that I would be making anyway, like gas for the mom van, which seems to be constantly running the children hither and thither, that's something that I'm definitely interested in. All I have to do to use Upside is open up the app on my phone, look at the offers available in my area and claim one. Then I just go to that place and make a purchase and follow the directions for uploading my receipt. I can cash out my earnings to my bank account or to PayPal, or I can exchange them for any one of a number of gift cards at various retailers. To get started, just go to Google Play or the App Store and download the free Upside app. And don't forget to use my code Mindy because it can give you an additional $5 back on your first purchase of $10 or more. I've been using mine at Casey's in my area. I've actually gotten as much as 23 cents per gallon back on my gas. And that may not sound like a lot, but it really adds up. In fact, Upside users combined are earning over a million dollars a week, which is probably why the app has a 4.8 star rating in the App Store. So don't wait, download the free Upside app today from Google Play or the App Store. And don't forget to use my code Mindy, which can give you an additional $5 or more back on your first purchase of $10 or more. And thank you again to Upside for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to it. I am in 
in Walmart picking up a handful of items that were on my list that I either couldn't get at Aldi or just didn't want to. One of them is lunch meat. My kids have become very loyal, and me too, brand loyal, to the Oscar Mayer cracked black pepper turkey. They really like that. And so I can get that here at Walmart. I can't get anything like that at Aldi. And I think this little Aldi versus Walmart experiment is going to be closer than I initially thought because I'm noticing some price hikes on a few things around the store. I did not pick up any chicken today, but I did note the price at Aldi. It was $2.89 for a pound when you buy it in the family pack. And here at Walmart, it is $3.24 a pound. Just a couple weeks ago, the butter for a pound of butter at my Walmart was $3.98 for a pound, which is four sticks, and now it's $4.48. I remember this time last year, it was $3.58. It's gone up a little bit, and I think the price at Aldi is better. I have mentioned my core values for my channel a few times before. Here on See Mindy Mom, I am trying to make videos that are helpful in a kind, positive, and realistic way. I'm about to say something that I believe is kind because it's realistic, but it still is a hard pill for us all to swallow. I don't know that prices are gonna go back down ever to where they were before. I think we're going to all have to figure out I'm sure you already know this, how we are going to increase our grocery budgets, how we are going to actually dedicate a little more money to that line item and probably some other line items in our household budget. Sometimes when it comes to budgeting, there's only so much we can cut. There's only so much budgeting we can do before we have to admit that we don't necessarily have a budget problem, we have a revenue problem and we have to figure out how to bring in just a little bit more income that we can spread out across our budget or dedicate to a few specific places where we really need it. Over the years, I have worked many side hustles to bring in a little bit of extra cash into our household budget. Everything from teaching voice or piano lessons to consigning kids clothing, to holding garage sales every now and then, to working part-time at my church, substitute teaching at my kid's school. For us, just that little bit of extra money went a long way to giving us some peace of mind and some comfort and allowing us to add back in a few luxuries. There are some things that we can do to kind of shave a little bit off of that grocery budget, but sometimes we just can't cut anymore. Just something to keep in mind as we move forward during this time. I actually spent about $130 at Aldi, but $30 of that total was on a stadium seat that I saw in the Aldi Isle of Shame or the special buys. I have wanted one of those for swim meets for a while, and so I went ahead and picked it up because I saw it there today, and we actually have a swim meet this weekend. In addition to that, I picked up all of this other stuff, starting with produce. I've got some zucchini, I've got some mini bell peppers, and some mini cucumbers and some baby carrots. The kids have been packing those things in lunches. I also got the Honeycrisp apples. They were on special this week. And some mandarin oranges. I already talked about the applesauce cups. I picked up some pretzels and some crackers and chips, again, for lunch packing things. A few cans of green beans, one can of cream of chicken soup and two cans of chicken noodle, a box of bow tie pasta. I showed you guys the caramel apple coffee cups already. Some apple crisp ground coffee. This was really intriguing to me since I like apple flavored stuff. I've shown you guys the cookies, some bread for sandwiches. We've got some butter, whipped cream cheese, sour cream, milk, eggs, kind of just staples for us. Some frozen broccoli florets steam in the bag. A few different kinds of cheeses, another wedge of Parmesan, some mozzarella slices. This is for a recipe I plan to make next week. Some Colby cheese, some cracker cuts, some of these yogurt tubes in the Friendly Farms brand. I also picked up this cheddar and Parmesan, which I have not tried yet. I thought that would be really good as sort of a game day snack this weekend with some crackers and cold cuts. And then one pound of 85.15 ground beef. My Walmart haul was very small. I just ran in there for a few things. I've already talked about the turkey breast. I have some French onion soup and some beef broth for a recipe I plan to try next week. A yellow cake mix. I also picked up a watermelon. They were priced at $3.98, which is a great price. We're at the end of the season. We're at that point where this could be really good or it could be not really good. <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. I got some of the Great Value brand Cheetos is basically what these are, and I really like these. I think as chips go in generic brands, these are some of the best. And then I got these items here, the shredded lettuce, the provolone, the pepperoni, salami, and ham, and then the loaf of Italian bread to make the Italian sandwiches, which I actually featured in a video over the summer. We're gonna have some really easy dinners this weekend, so sandwiches are on the menu. 
For the purpose of our little Aldi versus Walmart price comparison, I chose 20 of the items I purchased today at Aldi, things that I am frequently purchasing, things like milk, butter, eggs, cheese, lunch packing items, produce items, sort of the frequent flyers in our kitchen, items I'm picking up all the time from the grocery store. And I put those same 20 items, same sizes, comparable brands into my Walmart grocery pickup app to see what I would have paid at Walmart versus what I paid for those items at Aldi today. With several of the items, the price difference between Aldi and Walmart was just a few pennies. And in fact, the price on the canned green beans and the pasta was the exact same at Walmart and Aldi in my area. The biggest price differences I noticed were with the crackers, the clementines, the ground beef, and believe it or not, the bread. And with the clementines, I realized that some of that difference was because they were on sale at Aldi whenever I happened to pick those up. But I think it's worth noting that Aldi does run weekly sales whereas Walmart does not. They have rollbacks that can be kind of unpredictable. You never know what items are gonna get rolled back. At Walmart, I would have paid $59.97 for the items that I'm showing here. And at Aldi today, I paid $55.39. The difference comes out to a little less than $5. But if I had picked up these items at Walmart today instead of at Aldi, I would have been paying about 8% more. I find this very interesting because a couple of years ago when I first started doing these price comparisons, comparisons, Aldi usually undercut Walmart by anywhere from 10 to 15%. But a few months ago, whenever I revisited that, it seemed like Aldi had kind of caught up and there wasn't as much of a difference between me shopping at Aldi and me shopping at Walmart for the items that I frequently buy. But now it seems like inflation has caught up with Walmart and they have raised their prices on some of the items that I frequently purchase. And so we're back to that sort of 10 to 15% that I would save, at least where these items are concerned by purchasing them from Aldi instead of Walmart. Of course, I do understand that I have to factor in how far I drive and the convenience. There are a lot more Walmarts around me and closer to me than there are Aldis, but still, it's interesting. I'm glad that I did this today because I didn't know that the prices had kind of kind of gone back, the price disparage have kind of gone back to what it was when I first started shopping at Aldi a few years ago. Thank you so much for watching and thank you again to Upside for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to download the free Upside app from Google Play or the App Store and use the code MINDY whenever you download it so that you can get some extra cash whenever you redeem your first offer. If you wanna pick out one of these videos to watch next, I'll see you there. Bye.